Hello everyone, this is Arkady again from JoyT5. Today we're going to do a quick video of how to find out your bucket attachment pattern on your machine. To find out your uh, bucket fitment pattern, you will need to know uh, three parameters. Number one is your pin diameter. Number two is the distance between the two pins. And number three, your arm width. First, let's measure our pin diameter. Over here, I have a spare pin that we have available for sale uh, for this machine. And if you're going to measure it, it comes out at 40 millimeters. Now, if you don't have a spare pin and you want to measure it on your machine, you can try to measure here. As we can see, the pin is sticking out. But you got to be careful because actually it's showing 39.3 millimeters. Uh, the reason for it is that you have a bit of a cone on this side. And on this pin, you can kind of see the cone. So you got to be careful. We want the distance over here, not on the tip. Next measurement you want to take is your uh, pin center to center distance. Where to measure will depend if your machine has the quick hitch for your attachments or it doesn't. Uh, this machine is equipped with hydraulic quick hitch. That's why I'm going to take my measurements from the bucket. So it's going to be from here to here. Uh, if you uh, don't have a quick hitch, then you'd be measuring these pins from there to there. Most people would think that the distance uh, from this pin to this pin would be the same as from this one to this one, but that's not necessarily the case. On this machine specifically, here we have 20 centimeters, here we have 18 and a half. And that's totally fine because uh, this center to center distance can actually be a range that will work with your machine. When you're going to be measuring your arm width, you want to make sure that you measure the interior of your bucket. So we want distance from here to here. If you're going to be measuring the actual arm or a quick hitch distance over there, it will most likely be smaller than the bucket interior width because uh, you need clearance on each side of the arm or the quick hitch in order to put on the bucket. So on this machine specifically, our quick hitch is 131 millimeters wide but the interior width of the bucket itself we're looking at 135 almost 136 millimeters so that tells us that we have about two and a half millimeters of clearance on each side in order to be able to put on the bucket with ease thank you for watching the video uh, hopefully it was useful for you uh, and as always subscribe to our channel if you're going to have any questions about our machinery about mini excavators skid steers wheel loaders drum compactor visit joyt5.com